back at it again, YouTube. Uh, working on this LT1 harness again. Got all my wire out, got my wire schematics out. Uh, got a very important tool here, a pair of wire cutters. Uh, went through most of the harness, got everything uh, removed that I wanted to. I did some work during break today. I got a lot of wires coming out here. I gotta figure out where they go. And all the wires that come out randomly, like this one goes down to the uh, O2s, uh, ground, starter relay, knock sensor, and then the crank sensor. That'll stay where it's at. But like the starter wire comes out here and all the one wiring loom that goes to like gauges and whatnot come out here. I'm gonna reroute all that stuff to come out to where the PCM is at. So it'll make my uh, fuse block a little easier, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, a lot of these, I've already just got to figure out a couple wires where they go. And then I got to just uh, pretty much, I got most of the pins out of the harness that are not to what I'm going to need. And uh, I will end up just switching all the pins over from uh, the connectors into the 411 connectors. So that's what we'll do. And yeah, we'll uh, give you guys a nice little time lapse of me pretty much standing here scratching my head trying to figure out what some of these wires are. So, all right, see you guys in a second. All right, now I'm at the fun and exciting part. I've got all the wires figured out where they go. Like this is the uh, main start exciter, exciter wire. We have a alternator feed that goes to the alternator plug right here. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to look into how to uh, make that activate. Uh, then we have a oil pressure sensor wire right here for the sender. And the green is for your temperature sender on the side of the block for the gauge. So then we're all passed through. Then we got O2 power. We have ignition power or like, uh, injector power. And then we have MAF, uh, IAC, all the uh, stuff in it, the extra. If I'd have left the power to the uh, ECM in there, which they might still be in there, I'll have to look, the key to ignition, that activates them also, which I may, I may possibly uh, leave them and jump them over to that if possible i don't know yet i haven't decided 100 percent but i am going to use the grounds i didn't end up putting grounds in this in the 411 connections so uh i won't i'll use the grounds because they do ground the block and that's a good ground so that shouldn't be a problem but yeah i'm gonna get ready to do the blue connection first because it's the first one on the sheet so we're gonna end up uh, doing the blue connection here real shortly and uh I'll do a time lapse once again. I still got it running up there, so I'll go ahead and just cut back onto this. And when I get started doing uh, the, or just do this blue one, so. All right, here's back to the time lapse. Okay guys, so I just got done uh, pinning out the harness. I went ahead and did one thing off uh, the time lapse. I guess I added this pin for a vehicle speed sensor output. In case I do use the vehicle speed sensor off the transmission, I can at least be able to hook up to it and have a gauge, which would be kind of nice. Uh, the ignition here for, this is the key on, and I believe there's only one ignition on a, uh, that style of PCM will be hooked into the the math. I'll hook them together and there'll be the math PCM fuse. It'll be like a 15 amp fuse. O2s and then injectors. So that's all that's powered. That's all that needs to be powered. The rest of the sensors are powered off the computer. All that stuff. I've got the main hot leads going down. These are the oranges of the battery power for the PCM. Uh, the grounds, I, were, I was going to do separate grounds, but I ended up just using the grounds in the harness because they go to the block, they are good grounds, and the good heavy wires in there. So I said, I'll just use that. That'll be a good grounding, especially when it's on the block. So I do have a ground coming out. This goes 
to all of the grounds on the inside. So I'll ground this directly to uh, the body probably. And this will also give me grounds for my relays up in my fuse block, which I wouldn't have to ground this to the uh, body or anything, but having another ground is never a bad thing. So I will ground this to the, I'll have a run out of her ground on my fuse block. That's just how I do it. So I've done pretty much all my LS wiring harnesses. Uh, I guess I could do this one a little different and leave it out. I mean, it don't really matter, but it is nice to have that up there to ground your uh, relays. Because I'll have a fuel pump relay, fan one, fan two relay. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Then I've got a purple wire, yeah, right here. This is the serial data. This hooks up to the OBD2 port. This is my K5's computer. It's just sitting here right now, just because I wanted to make sure everything plugged in. So this is the red connector. That's the red inside, red top, blue inside. So yeah, everything hooks up like it's supposed to. I mean, it'll hook up like it's supposed to. I found a PCM and ordered it last night, so I should be getting it here sometime soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully, We'll get that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably off camera get and build a fuse block. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight. It's getting kind of late and I'm thinking about getting out of here. So I'll probably just clean up this area and uh, get started back tomorrow. I'll uh, probably do that tomorrow after work. So, which yeah, so. So far, it's good. I did misplace one pin on this that I know of. I am going to go through and verify on all of them here with the tabs. I'm not going to verify pin location. I'm just going to verify wire color. So, yeah. Because most of the wiring colors are the same. So, that's a good thing. But, yeah. So, I should get the uh, PCM. Then I can bring my laptop here and I'll wire me up a... Uh, obd2 port uh also i'll probably use this ground for the obd2 port as well so that's what i'll use that for too uh, i'll probably use one of the power battery powers going off for the pcm obd2 obd2 port uh doing a very uh, basic uh lt1 swap.com fuse block i will probably end up using the fuse block that i used in the k5 harness uh, on this as well just because it's very simple it's a uh, covered unit it looks good and I've got enough parts over here from uh, one so I can go ahead and make it, things work that way so uh, I could just do it the two rail two relay style and do the add the fans on later uh, which is possible and might happen so I don't know yet it all depends on what I really want to do so uh I do kind of like having the open uh, wiring system because it's easier to maintenance. But the sealed up wiring system looks a lot more tidy. I'm going to have to figure out how to tidy these up too because they look horrible right now. But yeah, most of the wires that come out will continue on. I'm going to go ahead and extend these wires and hook this, the ignition. It comes out here. It'll get brought over. And uh, I'll hook it to the the math like so so it'll hook like that and it'll be extended so yeah some of the wires will be extended i'm definitely gonna have to, uh, definitely gonna cut the crank uh wire down because it don't need to be that long but for right now it might stay that long it runs all the way down into the uh crank portion of the harness so uh down by the starter so yeah so we also got this again i don't need that uh yeah so that's what it looks like now and uh yeah uh, I might do a video tomorrow on doing the fuse block. I don't know yet. So it all depends on how uh, how uh, ambitious I am. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.